News Channel 5 Stuart Ledbetter joins us tonight with results from a door-to-door -door campaign this summer to build support for the mandatory labeling of genetically engineered foods, Stu. Well, it's a controversial issue, Stephanie. You'll recall the GMO labeling bill cleared the Vermont House last session by a wide margin and awaits uh, Senate consideration come January. Well, outside the Capitol today, VPIRG, the Vermont Public Interest Research Group, announced it had collected thousands of petition signatures going door to door over the summer in every town in the state. Those signatures urged the Senate to pass GMO labeling. We've talked to over 50,000 Vermonters. One thing we've learned for sure is that Vermonters want to know if their food contains genetically engineered ingredients. The truth of the matter is, is that labeling of GMOs is also not a radical concept. It exists throughout the European Union. In fact, it exists throughout dozens and dozens of countries throughout the world. So anyone who tells you that we can't do this, this is just too complicated. They're not telling you the truth. Now, Sanders has a bill pending in Congress that would explicitly grant states the right to require GMO labeling. Laws uh, have already won passage in Maine and Connecticut, and Washington state takes up the question this fall. GMOs are often uh, found in corn. Uh, could well file suit against states that required. Could well file. Could well could well file suit against states that require GMO labeling. And that's a concern here because uh, uh, the argument is that those labels imply to a consumer that there is something wrong with the product.